Hey filmmakers, Shongdi here. In this video, we're going to show you how to make a hot transition inside of Adobe Premiere Pro because very soon it's Valentine's Day and this would be a nice effect to use for that. And of course, for like weddings and other kind of romantic videos, this would be a nice simple effect or a transition to make. So we are going to use the pen tool here to actually draw a heart. I'm going to show you a simple way to do it. So inside of your uh, preview screen here, we're going to hold down and drag this out in this direction and then press here once and then one up the opposite side here below and then press here once here also drag this out and then back to this we also going to drag this out of course this doesn't look like a pretty heart but this is a start or a nice starting point so from here we can move these about and fine tune the shape a little bit more and it's actually quite simple to fine tune it to get this to a more yeah proper heart shape so move this like that it's more inwards So we're pretty close here and just too much. Okay. So this for me looks like pretty close. I think this might go a little bit more down and that was, I think pretty much it. So for me, this looks fine. Uh, yeah, you could use a, of course, an image to trace a heart, but this is a very simple way to actually draw a heart. Let's select this and drag this to the middle. So when those two red lines appears, the shape is fully in the middle. And one thing we notice, this anchor point is not in the middle. So we're going to drag this and move this into the middle also. The reason for that, if we're going to scale this heart for the transition, it would cause a weird effect if the center or the anchor port is not in the middle. So we are now going to uh, move this to here. And I think I want this effect to be a full second. So the heart shape is much more visible because if it's like a really like 15 frames it would be so fast that your eyes would not even register that there was a heart shape coming past so we're here between the two clips or we're going to hold down shift arrow down to go in between the two clips now hold down shift and arrow to the left five times for 25 frames because i'm on a 25 frame uh, timeline or 25 pal so that's why for me is that is one second. So hold on, shift arrow to the left five times. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to drag this heart over here, this clip over here, and I'm going to arrow down once to jump here to cut this clip here. This one we can drag down so it doesn't interfere. And this one we can make it shorter like this. And now we are going to add keyframes to the heart. We're going to move all the way to the front here, scale this down to zero, press this stopwatch to add a keyframe. And now we're going to make this all the way big until it fills the screen. Sure, just fill the screen. And now drag this keyframe all the way to the end. Now when we play this, we can see this heart coming out. And maybe if you find it still too fast and you want it to be slower, we can make it a little bit more uh, with a bezier at the beginning. So it's much slower showing you a small heart instead of and then speed up for the bigger size. So like this, drag this out. And now we can see it's slowly comes in like a small heart and then like quickly becomes really big. 
that makes it more visible to see that small heart and also like uh, this is quite similar to like a Batman uh, logo effect and so you could add the sound effect of like <laughs> so that would be like a Batman kind of a effect so now uh, we of course we're going to make sure that this cuts out the image or the video behind it so we are going to effect and now we're going to use inside of the video effects we go to keying and then use track mat key drag this onto the clip here and go to FX control and we're going to choose at mat choose video free where the graphics is so now when we play this we see this heart transition so we see this cut out of a heart and then transition it so it's a very simple transition and hope you guys found this very useful and if you want to see more upcoming videos please hit that subscribe button here below and also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when i post a new video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye